Hello everyone, how are you? So I get a lot of LinkedIn messages that there are no jobs in AI, there are no jobs in data science and how, how can I get a job in data science when the market is so tough? What I do, I try to respond to everybody but uh, when I respond to somebody, I ask for the resume in a PDF format so that I can review it. And when I open the resume, I sometimes want to say that boss, you don't have a job for your job. You don't even deserve a job. Why? Two projects. Absolutely simple. One is a sequel ka crud and a Kaggle ka Titanic machine learning. There are no deep learning projects. There are no Gen AI projects. But skills are all put in skills. In skills, mein there is everything from HTML, Excel, soft skills, everything. There is no empirical proof of those skills. But in skills, there is everything. How can such a person get a job when you have not shown the capability, when you have not shown a proof that you know all of this, how do you get a job? I say that to everybody at the end of the day, in your resume, nothing is reviewed other than your projects. Nobody cares about your skills other than some automated filters. Nobody cares about your name, mail, photo, hobbies, extracurricular activities. Nobody cares about your internships. Nobody cares about your certificates. They only care about the projects that you have worked on. What are the projects? Are they any good? Are they just copy paste? Or do you even have some projects or not? To solve this scenario, to help students with this scenario, I created an initiative called 21 projects in 21 days and in this particular initiative we are going to be doing 21 really amazing projects portfolio worthy projects resume worthy projects in 21 days consecutively now the question is sir aap ek taraf ke rahe certificate ki koi value nahi hai to mujhe ye course kyun lena chahiye you're absolutely right you might not want this course if you can you you do those 21 projects on your own but in these 21 days, what we are going to do is teach you the concepts, teach you the code, teach you the projects, give you a proper guided information, a roadmap for machine learning projects, for deep learning projects and generative AI projects. So let me just take a couple of minutes to first talk about all of the feedback that we have gotten till now. So we have we, the first batch of this 21 projects is currently ongoing. I think today is the 18th day. And on your screen, you will see a lot of positive feedback, how we are helping students, how we are helping people to build their portfolio. And not just students, working professionals as well. And when I say working professionals, I don't mean people who are trying to switch to AI, people who are currently working in AI as well. So on your screen, you must be seeing all of these feedbacks. I hope the editor adds those feedbacks. There are many, 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 many posts and you know, I get tagged on these posts like I have like 200 notifications on my LinkedIn today. Let's talk about what those 21 projects are. There will be seven projects for machine learning, seven for deep learning and seven for Gen AI and Agent Tech AI. We are going to start with EDA, Exploratory Data Analysis. Two projects specially on EDA because we understand the complexity and the criticality of doing good EDA. Then there is a project for classification, regression, clustering and time series analysis. Now in the seventh project, what we are doing is feature engineering because again, I say this a lot that in data science, data comes before the science and it is your job as a data scientist to not just explore the data, but also look at how it can add value to the model. So feature engineering is kept to, to be the last piece of the puzzle because it is so critical. Then we have some deep learning projects as well. The deep learning projects start very basic. There is a digit recognizer data set that is very popular. We start with that. Then we have an advanced AI image classification. Then we have another image based deep learning project where we are generating art, generating uh, AI art by using something called as GANs, Generative Adversarial Network, which are the foundation of generative AI. Then we have a project for hugging face. Now, Hugging Face is such an amazing library 
that you can solve multiple 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 projects using hugging face and we are going to showcase that then we have a deep learning based time series data analysis and finally we talk about how you can build your own chat gpt how you can train a text generation engine how you can fine tune a text generation engine then let's talk about the uh, area which all of the people are excited about gen ai the first project is going to be a text to sql project people spend months on this project and we are going to teach you this particular project in 2 to 2 and a half hours then there is a project around intelligent document processing how you can build in a smart ocr engine again i personally have spent years on such a product uh, we are going to teach you such a project in 2 and a half hours then we talk about how you can build your own search engine using genie AI. then we are talking about how you can build a powerful rag based chatbot finally we come to agentic ai where we do market research we create an autonomous agentic crew a multi agent framework for create doing market research then we use something called as browser use to create an autonomous browser agent that helps you in doing the tasks in an automated manner finally we are going to do something with uh, n10 a no code agentic workflow system if you look at all of these projects and you will see the link of the course in the description if you look at all of these projects most of them are not just trying to solve a technical problem but they are also trying to solve a business problem statement and these are the kind of projects that you will need in your resume to get shortlisted these are the kind of projects that you will need to so that you get shortlisted you get interviewed and you get cleared these are the resumes that can lead you to a good job not just a job a good job i wanted to do this course for free talking about the price i wanted to do this course for free but it was a decision that we took a very conscious decision that we want only people who are serious for, uh, in this course so the price is there a price is there it's not a free course but the price is very nominal it's 2100 rupees inr indian rupees right there are some taxes as well but yeah uh, it, all of that is incorporated within the price of the course now i still want to make it free for you so what do we do well we are going to give you guys a 90 percent refund if you submit all of the projects if you attend all of the classes every day 8 pm to 10 pm then you will get a 90 percent uh, uh, refund so that would equate to the total cost of these 21 days projects these 21 projects being 210 rupees so mere hisab se bahut hi badhiya opportunity hai kuch logo ke liye life changing bhi hai is batch mein jo abhi chal raha hai usme kisi ne mujhse pucha ki sir why 21 days dekhiye 21 days isliye kyunki 21 days mein na aapki ek data science ki ek habit ban jayegi it's a it's a, a really popular thing that if you want to learn something you do it continuously for 21 days 90 minutes a day at least and then it becomes a habit so these 21 projects in 21 days this course is supposed to become a starting point for you your learning should not stop there you will start doing projects on your own you will start doing things on your own you will start incorporating ai into your life you will start get doing even much better projects so this is the goal with these 21 uh, projects and the 21 days and the price is also very nominal this is the goal that we are trying to do we are trying to help students in a very ultra affordable manner to get jobs and there is no you know lack of jobs in data science there is no lack of jobs in ai you will see i, I think if you search for a thing called us bureau of labor statistics data science you can do that search uh, right now us bureau of labor statistics data science and you will see that data science is still going to be a very popular job in 2034 not 2024 2025 it's going to be a really popular job 2034 2035 and it's going to be one of the highest paid jobs even then if you have any questions please ask I will try to answer all of them. Thank you for listening to me today.
Hope to see you guys in the course.